Hi Aquarius, welcome to your mid month readings. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. For the month of August, I'm offering a special called Tales of the Sun, which is a reading divided into two parts, part one being sunrise and part two being sunset. They were created as a complement, but they are not exclusive to each other, so you can order just part one or part two, that's perfectly fine. And these are readings that were created to uh, reflect upon the current Leo theme season we are on, which is all about co-creation, self-expression, joy, and the power of self, the identity. And the part one sunrise sheds some light into aspects of happiness and joy and the awareness, the, the um, possibilities, right, that are being created and generated in a, in a very positive manner um, in different aspects of life. And the sunset part is a reading that reflects upon what might need to be released and let go in order to find uh, what part one is talking about, which is ultimately the path of joy and happiness. So if you would like to know more info about those specials or any other of my tarot services, just email me. Or if you would like to donate and support my channel, you can also do so by following the PayPal link, which is down below, and as well my Facebook and Instagram page. So Aquarius, I do feel like uh, going solo, it's the best uh, some of you could do during this time, especially for Aquarius that are finding hard to deal with groups uh, or where teamwork is not being facilitated or really uh, managed uh, well. There's some sort of tension associated with group dynamics. It could be work, friends, family, any dynamic that involves more than just you and other. This seems to be more about, again, a concept of uh, a group. And it could also be that there are certain activities that some of you are used to do. Some of you are, um, you know, involved in uh, either a project or something going on that involves teamwork, right? That might not be uh, going well during this mid-August. You might need to distance yourself a little bit or separate yourself from the situation to really focus on what's essential on the tasks you have in your hand i feel like some of you have a lot a lot of work to do and you have been wasting your time or attention or resources or energy in things that um you know you can't do much about you cannot change at least as as it's being shown right now you can't really change how this is so it's it's best this is the advice the eight of pentacles it's best to just do your own thing whatever it is be involved and focused in the things that depend on you to change to better to to get better at or to the betterment of um to find the solutions i really feel like you can do quite a lot more or excel more during this time if you just uh, be a little bit more by your own self, especially, of course, in things associated with work, projects, or just um, things that you are used to have um, working in your life. That is like, that is, uh, that has this notion of dependency, right? You depend on others, they depend on you. But dependency issues might be going, um, it's like boiling. There's this boiling of tempers or energy here that might be causing some stress because the challenge is the Three of Cups. So definitely, and with the Five of Wands, there's something going on here with people in your life that either is taking attention that it's needed to for you to put into other things or it's just not working well the, 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 the way... You know, it's not working in harmony. Uh, I feel like there's a lot of shouting or bickering or just, uh, you know, when there's this, there's so many differences in the, in, the, in the approaches or opinions, temperaments that it really, it's not impossible, but it makes it really hard to be compatible, to find, you know, a way of 
making things work with compatibility. So I feel like some of you are going with going through issues of lack of compatibility with your vision and the vision of others, your your ideas and the ideas of others, your way of doing things and the way of others doing things. So uh, again, detaching. I feel like it could benefit you quite a lot. I also feel like it could be that um, there's a lot of demands um, about things you are working on. So it could be that in your workplace, there's a lot of demands that are overwhelming you during this time. It could be that you have a lot of responsibilities or just a lot of things to respond to that might be causing on its own internal battle or an internal restless vibration. It could be that in your workplace, there's a lot going on that is stressing you out. Um, putting it simply, this could just be that it's a mid-month where there's a, a little bit of an amount of stress uh, being manifested and, and displayed. It could be uh, because of others. It could just be because you internally as well, you're not feeling okay. When the Five of Wands appears, it could sometimes, and I'm feeling here for you, it's more about others, a situation with people that it's not peaceful. Um, but sometimes the Five of Wands can represent as well an inner fight, an inner conflict, where the multiple things you want or that you have you know, to do and think about are being hard to manage because they, are, they seem to be so, again, against each other that to make it work or to know what to prioritize, which is also your advice, to know what to focus on first, might be as well confusing so some of you simply could be that as well you're not you're not sure what you're meant to do what you're supposed to do right now where is um where should your attention go where it's the source of value the source of um profit the source of uh result um where is it it's like you're looking for the right thing or the thing that will be the thing to uh for you to explore further ahead that will make itself um you know something that is meaningful that it brings motivation that brings um that makes sense in your life i also feel like some of you want to have things making sense being more organized being more disciplined more established in ways you can work with and that could be it it could be that you're really looking for ways to organize your life your finances your relationships your work there's a lot of um it's like a methodic methodical vibration very thorough very like a virgo vibration here so for for aquarius um with virgo energy in their charts pay attention to that it could be a time to clean up as well a time to clean up spaces environment you know take out the trash take out things that are just you know uh taking room that it's needed for other things but also um cleaning up you know situations in your life that are not good for you like toxic relationships or environments that are not as well suiting to you or behaviors, patterns, clean up everything that is a source of, it's like a source of, um, I'm looking for the term in English, a source, a sort, it, it, what I would just say is like a source of a, a decrease of something. It's like because of that, or because you keep being associated with that, or like cling to that you keep being dragged down energetically financially emotionally whatever it is you need to separate yourself from the things that are not making you feel good also pay quiet attention right now um in this time period to vibration like if you don't feel good with someone or in a specific place or doing something whatever it is move away i feel like some of you, there's this clear notion of moving away, like separation of things 
that you cannot take it anymore. So I hope you have a great mid-month. Thank you so much for all of you that have been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and donating to my channel. I really appreciate it, and please keep doing so. Hopefully, we'll see each other soon.